So I realize I'm wearing the same shirt uh, that I did in the last video. That is just kind of um, a coincidence, um, but I didn't feel like changing my shirt for this. Um, I'll try to make this one uh, pretty short. Um, this is this is my two week mark, and then from here on out, I think I'll do one at month one, month three, six months, maybe like nine, and then a year. Um, but so yeah, it's been two weeks and I feel amazing and I absolutely love wh what my life has become just within this half a month of not drinking. And I keep, you know, people keep saying like, don't worry about it. Like it, it'll get easier. But I think at least for my situation, this, this is the easier route. Like doing everything I was doing before was the difficult part and I'm waiting for it to get harder. Uh, I think the biggest challenges are going to be, you know, losing friends or loved one or something like that, uh, big financial hardships, any kind of like massive stress that I would normally fall back on alcohol for that I think is going to be the true test. But as of right now, I'm just really enjoying the clarity that I have. And, you know, it's this, I'm sure this is going to echo a lot of other videos that they talk about how they feel when they get sober, you know, they they feel better physically, mentally, spiritually, all of it. And it's, and it's true. You know, you get, you get rid of that huge monkey off your back of constantly wondering where the next drink is going to come from. And I think the reason why it's, it's become so easy for me, like I've said in previous videos is that a, I've admitted that I was an alcoholic and that I just shouldn't drink anymore. Uh, but more, more importantly, so is that this truly is the easier route. All I have to do is not drink and then everything else falls into place. So before basically maintaining these multiple lives of how some people perceive me and how much I let certain people see me drink and knowing that maybe some of that's going to get back to my girlfriend, trying to constantly not have her be upset at, you know, catching me drinking or something like that and figuring out ways to dance around the breathalyzer um, and... You know, and then on top of that, that internal conflict of, you know, knowing that you shouldn't be doing something and then you continue to do it. And then you, you know, there's, there's really two people living inside of you, uh, for my form of alcoholism and that alcoholic has just been in control has had, had the reins for so long. And finally the sober version of myself was able to muscle up on top of that one and push that one down. And, uh, it, I mean, it, it'll never go away um, in the sense of will the alcoholic in me ever die? I don't, I don't believe so. I think that in 20 years from now, uh, if I'm sober for 20 years and then I pick up a beer, the second I get that buzz going, it'll just flood right back in instantaneously. And there, there are points, you know, I, I'm a bartender and a server and uh, like last night when I got done with uh, the party that I was waiting on, all my coworkers were having beers and stuff. And there is that part of you that's, that's kind of like, well, you feel so good now. Like you, you almost want to be like, and now we can have both, you know, you're, you've made this progress here and now you can be like them. But that's the thing is that you can't have both. You just, you can't, you know, it's like trying to smoke a cigarette whilst, you know, underwater, you can't do it. It's not, it's not going to happen. Um, and I know what would, like, that's the other thing is you have to arm yourself with the knowledge of knowing what the other side of that is, you know, because your brain can say, oh, you know, just, just this one or this and that. And, but then you have to just have those facts always ready in the forefront of your mind to know that what's going to happen if you choose to take that, that drink. Because for me, I know that I would plummet into a depression because I would have, failed myself most importantly i would have failed everyone you know that's supporting me um this more than anything though this is, this has to be for yourself and this is for me but you know i i just know that i how how i quant quantify things in my head is that you know when when you have people to say like i've been sober five years i've had a couple slip-ups along the way but i've been sober five years i couldn't say that that I've been sober five years, I'd be like, the second I slipped up and I took alcohol, I'd be like, boop, starts over from that point again. You know, uh, it has to be all or nothing. So I would, all that progress, and I know it's only been two weeks, but it's, it's 
felt like a lifetime because I feel like I haven't been living for so long. And looking on it, it, it seems insane. I was just sitting here earlier today. I was playing some video games for like 45 minutes and I, I turned it off and I'm like, oh, I don't work till six. It's only like 11. I have seven hours. Like, what am I going to do with my day? And I'm thinking of different things I'm going to go out and do. And, you know, I'm going to cook dinner and I'm going to go deposit my money. I'm going to go to the gym later. Maybe I'll hit up a, a hike or play some disc golf, stuff like that. And I'm trying to figure out ways of filling in my day rather than saying, oh, thank God I don't work for seven hours. I can just lay on my bed for seven hours and then begrudgingly force myself to go to work and be upset about it until I get off work, you know, maybe convince someone that I can get off, be one of the earlier ones off. My work ethic now is through the roof. If someone wants me to close, I'll close for them any day of the week. You know, I've been closing every single day this week and I'm, I'm making more money. I'm spending less money. I've been going to the gym constantly. Just everything is falling in place. And, uh, it's, I, I sometimes don't feel like I deserve how much credit people are giving me of how they're saying how proud they are of me because it just it seems like a lot really quickly um but I appreciate it I really do but it's like it's just a lot to take in like having a lot of people say they're proud of me and and saying like god I wish I could do what you were doing and I'm like well I mean I've only been doing it for two weeks you know and don't get me wrong I have no end in sight and I I I'm looking forward to being able to have these notches, you know, that's how my mind works as well. It's like, I'll be like, boom, I got a month, boom, I got two, I got four, I got six, I got a year, I got five years, you know. And now, rather than having this fear that was always setting in because I was drinking, I have it, uh, where fear was is now ambition. I've, for the first time in my life ever, I'm actually thinking about starting a business. I don't even know what it would be yet, but I know that I want to shoot higher. I have higher goals and I feel like alcoholism has been this mountain that I've been climbing trying to find the end for so long and I finally reached the top and that's when you can only reach the top when you reach your bottom you know like I was I was ready I was like I'm either gonna fucking end this which I mean I, I didn't want to go that way um, or I'm really gonna stop and it's if you're thinking about stopping and if you think you might have a problem I mean Chances are you probably do. If you're at that point already saying, maybe I should monitor my drinking, maybe I should cut it back. Um, and I can't, I can't speak for anybody, but I just know a lot of the people that I've noticed that, I mean, if you're already saying like, I'm only going to drink five days, these certain days out of the year, then you probably are there because you, you have a problem. Um, I know that I had a problem. I just didn't want to recognize it. I didn't want to have to stop drinking. I love drinking it. And it, uh, it, it's very peculiar because I think in my situation, none of it, I watched all these videos, you know, of other people getting clean and talking about the hardships. And I think I resonated with all of that when I was trying to take breaks because I did, I was never really trying to quit. So I still had that pull of like, God, I'm just, I'm just waiting until I can get to the point where I can drink again, you know? And that's why I was like anxious and it was hard and you know, and I'd be like, oh, I'm going to have a beer over here, blah, blah, blah. And now that it's, it's uh, so cut and dry, I feel like it's easier for me. It's kind of like the same thing, you know, going back to school. If you don't know what you're going for, you're just kind of lost and it's kind of floating around. And if you don't have a goal, like if I have a goal to shoot for, I will put everything in it that I can to get to that goal. But if I don't have a goal that I'm just kind of like, you know, pulling the strings and doing, doing whatever the hell I think I'm supposed to be doing, but I don't have a clear game plan. And now with this, I do, you don't drink every day. You don't drink. And it, it does, it, it's, it gets easier and easier. And it, I'm starting to think about alcohol less and less. I mean, it's something that floats around on my mind from time to time that I'm, I mean, it, it's, that's something I'm noticing as well is that it's, it's all around you constantly everywhere. When I was drinking, it was just a part of normal life that you would hear things on the radio about it, would scroll by things in your Instagram or your Facebook, or you would, um, uh, you know, you'd see other people drinking or, you know, you go to a, sit down in a restaurant and I can I get you a beer, a cocktail, a glass of wine. And you start realizing, fuck, how, how can you not drink, you know? Cause it's, it's so much a part of our life, our lifestyle, at least in this 
uh, Western culture, because I haven't been out of the United States yet, uh, which is another goal of mine. By next year, I would love to have ventured out of the country. I'm going to get a passport, all that goodness. But, yeah, I, um, I feel great, man. I feel absolutely fantastic. I just started reading Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde because I feel like that's a lot of what I've been going through with my alcoholism has been, you know, a uh, very much so Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of a thing. Um, but... I guess like in closing for this little uh, video, I want to thank everyone who's who is has supported me and believed in me to do this. And I also want to apologize for the people that I've put in really shitty situations and predicaments to try to cover my ass because I made them choose between being loyal to me and also between what's best for me. And I'm really sorry about that. And I think that's something that does happen with uh, with alcoholism is that it's it can be very isolating in what you're going through. But at the same time, you rope in a lot of people into your own addiction and personal torment. And so it's it's kind of a little of both. Um, I really I really wish that anyone that's that's trying to to get clean or just to stop drinking can find what they need because I, I, I finally f f fucking was able to figure out a way for me to stop drinking. And sometimes I don't even fully understand where, how it just clicked, but that's exactly what it feels like. It feels like something clicked. It feels like the drinking switch just got put over to the non drinking switch. And it, I'm like I said, I'm waiting for it to get harder. Um, but, you know, it's kind of like a day-by-day -day thing. You know, you just wake up and you know today I'm not drinking. But I am really not reminding my... It, it's less of a conscious effort because I think of all the awesomeness that I'm seeing and all the rewards that I'm already getting from it. Watching my bank account swell up and all of this is so much better than waking up with regret and feeling like shit and apologizing. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather be helping people out and feeling good about myself than begging for their forgiveness. So, uh, thank you guys, and uh, I will see you in another two weeks to make uh, my first month without alcohol, which I've only done once before uh, when I was supposed to take my three months off, and I only made it a month and a half in that, and that was kind of tough. You know, that, that was more like every day was like, okay, don't drink today, and even then I would say, you can drink tomorrow, but not today, and then tomorrow would come, and then I'd say the same thing, And but that's, that's still, you know, it's that's just you know, kind of like cold medication. It's not, it's not getting rid of the problem. It's just masking the symptoms. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a month. And then I think three, six, nine and a year. And then from there, I'll probably just try to do a year update or maybe every six months or whatever. Um, but yeah, thanks guys.